How to deploy project on Versal from VS Code 2025. In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about Versal and how you're going to be deploying a project on it from VS Code. Now, if you don't know what VS Code is, VS Code is Visual Studio Code, one of the most used coding appliances out there. Okay, you could code in C++, Python, whatever you want. Now, let's say you have a project on VS Code and you want to go ahead and deploy it onto Versal. Now, Versal is type of a, uh, you know, GitHub or, uh, you know, uh, a GitLab type of software that helps you deploy projects on it. Now, there is no direct way which you can use to import a project from your VS Code. But deploying to Versal can be quite different. Okay, there's different deployment methods like uh, deploying through Git, Versal CLI, deploy hooks, Versal REST API, or whatever you want. Okay, a Versal deployment is the result of a successful build of your project. Now, if you want to go ahead and successfully import and deploy it from VS Code, there's going to be a chain that you're going to want to work on. So I'm pretty sure you all use GitHub if you use Versal. So on GitHub, what you're going to do is you're going to come right to your dashboard and right here you're going to go ahead and create a new repository so let's say i'm going to call this vs code okay i'm going to call this vs code make sure it's public add a readme file for yourself and click on create repository now once you've done that what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that right here you're going to go ahead and upload the vs code file or you know whatever VS file you have right over here in your repository. And once you've done that, what you do is you come to your Versal, click on import, and you're gonna make sure to connect your GitHub to your Versal. And once that is done, simply come over here. And here I have the VS Code repository, click on import, deploy it, and that is about it. That is how you can import your VS Code project to Versal in the easiest and most simplest way. So thank you for watching this video all the way till the end, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.